What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. My name is Miles out of Dallas, Texas, and today we are taking a look at this 2022 Keystone Cougar 30 BHS. This is a brand new floor plan from Keystone Cougar. It is a bunkhouse model, so you have bunk beds on the back. Actually, the first time I saw this floor plan was from Grand Design Transcend, um, but Transcend is a little bit more of an entry-level travel trailer, and then Cougar basically took what Transcend did with this floor plan and took it to the next level. So I'm pretty dang excited about this, and I know this is something where my family, we have had various different bunkhouse travel trailers over the years, and we actually have a bunkhouse Cougar fifth wheel right now in the Cougar 364 BHL, but this would have been an amazing travel trailer floor plan for what my family would have needed when I was growing up. So I'm really excited to take a look at this one with y'all. Let's go. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. If this is your first time tuning into one of my videos, I'm super excited that you're here. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy. And if you do get something out of this video, consider hitting the like button down below and definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and become a part of this growing community of RVers all around the world. If you want to connect with me on other social media platforms, links to my Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook are down below in the description where you can find other RV-related content that I post regularly. And then finally, if you are interested in this RV or maybe any RV that you have seen on my channel, I am in a sales position, so I would love to personally assist you in helping you purchase this RV or maybe setting up a time to come and look at it in person. So if you are interested in that or need purchasing information, you can text me at the number on the screen. Keep in mind, I am in a sales position and I do not get paid by my company to make these videos. So I only get paid when someone like you sees these videos and trusts me enough to come and purchase one from me. So text me at the number on the screen there if there's anything I can do to help you make this RV yours. All right, y'all. So this again is a 2022 Keystone Cougar 30 BHS and is a really good size bumper pool bunkhouse floor plan. It's not outrageously large, but it's definitely not small. You'll see on the weight here, the dry weight of it is 7,320 pounds, so 7,320 pounds. Your gross vehicle weight rating is gonna be uh, 9,500 pounds on this travel trailer. And then we'll go find the exact length of it. Obviously you have the, uh, you've seen the um, specs on the screen and whatnot as well. But sometimes the online specs are not the exact same as each particular individual unit. So it looks like the exact length on this one is 34 and a half feet. So 34 feet, seven inches is the exact bumper to bumper length on this RV. And this thing is probably my new favorite bunkhouse floor plan just for the practicality of it. I wouldn't say it's the absolute nicest bunkhouse floor plan out there because there are ones that get even bigger and have a fully separated second bunk room. But this one is very practical. There's gonna be a good amount of half ton trucks out there that can tow this size bunkhouse and is gonna give you a lot of space. Basically what this Cougar did is it took one of their more popular floor plans in the Cougar 25 RDS. Um, they also make the same thing in a fifth wheel in the Cougar 24 RDS and they added bunk beds onto it. So they already took a great floor plan and added to it adding sleeping space for kids and family and whatnot, and I'm pretty dang excited about it. And as a lot of y'all know, my family, we own a Cougar, and I felt very comfortable telling my dad he should purchase a Cougar, and it's been great. We've had it for about a year now and have absolutely loved it and had a great time with it. So, but let's start walking around everything on the outside, then we'll head inside. You do actually have a glass windshield here, so you can hardly even tell from out here that that is a windshield because of how darkly it is tinted but that is an automotive glass windshield that you have and then a full fiberglass front cap with some LED docking lights here. So these are like the amber LED light strips. Two 30 pound propane bottles, so bigger size propane bottles and then you have two separate battery compartments here. So spot for up to two batteries that is designated there. This is your battery disconnect. So if you wanna kill all the power from everything being powered by your battery, like your lights and things like that, without having to go in and turn off each individual thing when you leave your campsite, you can kill the power to all of your batteries from right there. You have a power tongue jack. So this is going to raise the tongue up and down. It is powered. And big thing with the batteries back there too, you do have a 200 watt solar panel on this Cougar, which is going to help keep those batteries charged as well. And as we come around this way, go ahead and have your pass-through storage compartment through here. So really good, large size pass-through storage compartment. 
This is a wiring panel right here. So back behind this panel, if we open this up real quick, you're gonna have all your color coordinated wiring. So that is something that Keystone does where they color coordinate every one of their wires here. You can see you have a legend for what each wire indicates. This way, if you bring your RV in for electrical service or you try to troubleshoot something yourself, this is going to speed up the time, which either means saving you money or saving you time, having every wire being color coordinated and I hear it from my techs all the time. You would be surprised. Actually, I'm gonna just leave that down instead of trying to screw that back in with one hand. But my RV techs all the time talk about how many brands just have one solid color wiring and how annoying that is. So something that is a nice touch that they do giving you all color coordinated wires. We'll look at some of those things on the other side once we get over there. But you do have slam latch door here with this nice flip up handle there with a grip on the other side. So nice solid metal latch and magnet latch to hold it in place. Really good size awning, covers about two thirds of the length of the RV, comes almost all the way up to where your front cap starts and goes pretty far back. Your speakers are both underneath the awning and both of your entry doors are underneath the awning. So really easy spot to just hang out right here. Plus you have TV hookup, so if you wanted to mount a TV onto the sidewall here or just put one out on a table, you have hookups there for the TV as well. And then as we come back around this way, you have an outdoor kitchen area here. So this has a small dorm style refrigerator with a little freezer portion in it as well. You have a nice metal surface there and let's get this out. Of course, gotta use two hands to do it. You have a nice capital grill on here. So this is something that my family's Cougar has on it as well. It's an actual grill cooktop. So that is a little bit more preferred in my opinion over something like a two burner stove. Um, but nice little setup you have there. You can see it stays out on its own. And with this, something that I like to always recommend to my family, we actually bring a Coleman grill that we set up off the side of our camper because it's a bit bigger than that. And it prevents messes and everything from happening in this area while cooking but a good amount of storage space in here as well. Now you can see like on this trailer, it's all aluminum framed. So everything through here, all aluminum framing with welds on both sides of the frame. You would be amazed if you started looking at the welds on all these aluminum frame trailers, how many of them do not have um, welds on both sides of the frame and are just on one side. So that's something worth pointing out as well. And then you have an outdoor shower compartment here as well. So that is something that is nice to have a water source on this side of the trailer instead of on the opposing side. And then finally want to point out while we're over here, no slides on your campsite. So nothing eating into your space here on the campsite as well as far as slide outs go. Coming back to the backside, you do have a ladder here so you can get up onto the roof. We'll go up there in just a sec and then want to show underneath the RV as well. Fully enclosed underbelly. All of your water tanks and water lines sit above the insulation in this enclosed underbelly. So you have heat that is being fed into those cavities. Plus your black, gray, and fresh water tanks all have 12 volt electric heat pads on them in a Cougar travel trailer. So you do have an electric heat source as well directly on the tanks to keep them from freezing underneath there. Now coming back here, there is one really bizarre thing to me about this trailer and you might have already noticed it and i have been sitting here trying to contemplate this and figure this out but your spare tire is blocking access to the storage compartment which is very strange and then i was sitting here trying to think about this like what do you do about that <sighs> really interesting thing now i was looking at it and you have the bracket here that holds the spare tire on this can easily be taken off or moved so if you did want to do something different with the spare tire like maybe put it in the bed of your truck or something like that if you want access to that door different things that you can do plus you have an accessory hitch down here so you can put an accessory rack back here to maybe change the location of the spare tire or something of that nature as well but very interesting design there's literally not even any way for me to open that storage compartment door to show you what's in there however you can access it from right here. So like I was saying, there are bunk beds in the back of this trailer. And when you open this up, you can see that you have access to your bunk area. So you see that in here, right here. But this also flips all the way up and you have 
a huge storage area right here for all kinds of different stuff. And then you can see back into access into this area here where that other door is. But this is a massive area. I mean, the height clearance in here is probably at least about four feet. And then this is just a really, you can hold secure this up to stay up like that if you want. But this is just a great, easy, convenient spot for storage when it comes to just accessing things on the road. Like if you wanna put coolers back here where you want quick access to maybe some cold drinks or whatever it may be. If you wanted to, I mean, shoot, a, with the height clearance that a bike might even fit in there and things like that if you wanted to store them in there. All kinds of different things you can store in that compartment space to give you quick, easy access to it while you're on the road. And then one other thing I wanted to talk about back here as well is you do have reverse lights on your tail lights on a Keystone Cougar, which is really nice. There are very few trailers that put reverse lights on the trailer, which is really bizarre, but that's something that you get with the Keystone Cougar, a nice little added safety feature that they put on there. Make sure that people behind you know that you're backing up when you're backing up. So let's get up on the roof. As we go up, you'll be able to see you can install a backup camera on here as well. So it is prepped for a backup camera if you want that. And as we come up on the roof, you can see that you have two ACs on this. One of them is an optional second AC. This is something where this kind of stands apart from the Transcend model of this. The Transcend is a 265 BH, but it's only a 30 amp coach. So the Transcend 265 does not even have a second AC option. And then this comes standard with a 200 watt solar panel there to help keep your batteries charged. Plus you also have a WineGuard omnidirectional antenna and that is going to be attic vents there. So any hot air and moisture that gets into your attic cavity is going to be able to get out of your attic cavity through those vents there. And fully walkable roof. And you can see it's barreled as well. So you have that barreled shape in the ceiling on the inside. That is everything on the roof. Let's head back in or back down and then get inside this RV. Last little tidbit here is that you can also use the bumper for storage, putting things through that bumper there, that cap will just come off. Now, as we come around this way, you have your slide out. This slide out box here, it is a cable driven slide. So it's the Norco cable driven slide out box. It is going to push and pull at all four corners equally. So that is going to make sure it goes straight in and out every time and then also has a manual override on it. So if it was ever not working for some reason, there is a manual override that's pretty easy to do. For your dump stations, you have two separate areas here for dumping. So that's gonna be two separate spots that are right next to each other. So still making that pretty easy for you. This is probably gonna be your black and gray tank for the bathroom. And then I'm guessing that's your gray tank for the kitchen there. Seems like that would make sense to me. Um, docking station here for all your water. Let me get this opened up. Of course, I didn't bring my keys with me. I always do that. I can't stand that I do that. Why do I not bring my keys? But it's a really simple docking station. Um, basically, you just have your fresh and city water connections right inside there. So nothing too crazy about it. And then another solar connection here if you wanted to plug a solar panel out here to have an additional solar power going to the battery. You can also put that outside. And then this has auto leveling on it. So these are all your auto leveling controls. And when we get back into this storage compartment, you can see you have your auto leveling control panel here and then your solar charge controller. So that is talking with the solar panel and the battery, maintaining the charge on that and giving you information with the app that you can get on it for the level of power going to your batteries from the solar panel, how long till your batteries are charged, things like that. You also can add an inverter here if you wanted to add that inverter and maybe another solar panel, you can start getting power to different outlets inside the RV from the solar as well. So auto leveling, another really nice feature that is on this Cougar, it will completely level itself. So that is pretty cool as well. And that just about completes everything on the outside. I think I touched on just about everything. If I missed something, let me know down below in the comments. Keep in mind, I'm no certified RV expert. Um, I have been doing this for a while, but every once in a while, there's things I miss or things I unintentionally misspeak on. So if I miss something, just let me know. One thing I've been forgetting to mention too often, which is becoming more and more important for me to talk about is I have a growing audience all around the country that has been inquiring with me about coming to get an RV 
from Texas. And I want to point out that this is being filmed in our campground area. So back here, this is our campground on our lot at my dealership in Dallas. And we have eight different spots back here where we can get you fully hooked up to electricity and water. And our customers that purchase from us get to use this space for free. So what this is mostly used for is if you come down here and you purchase your new RV, or maybe say you're trading in an RV, you can swap your stuff over from your old RV to your new RV, and then you can stay here for a couple days to get comfortable in your RV, make sure everything works, make sure you understand how to do everything. And if there's anything you don't know how to do or are having a hard time with or anything that's not working properly, we are right here and we can come help you out. That way, by the time you take this thing home, you know exactly what it is. You may have been able to work a bug or two out of it while you're here. So that is something that is just a great feature that we offer that I really am thrilled to tell my customers about because it is just such a peace of mind thing knowing that by the time you go home, you've actually spent time in your RV. You don't have to worry about taking it home and just hoping for the best. You can actually spend some time in it here. So that is something I wanted to make sure y'all knew about. Okay, so coming inside, first I wanna point out that you have the solid steps here on your main entrance, getting real close to the ground here, plus a really big top step here, very oversized, and it's the Lippert solid step. On your door over here, it has the more traditional RV steps. Now, the reason they do that is because the way these steps go in and out of this trailer, they lift up like so and go up into the door. Now, you can see here, you need some clearance to be able to get those out. So if you were parked super close to something else and couldn't get those steps out because there wasn't enough clearance for them to swing out, you still can get into that door. But these steps will block this door when they're up in that doorway. So that's why they give you two different sets of steps here. As we go inside, this RV is so dang cool. I'm seriously such a fan of this floor plan. I'm gonna kind of just give you a look around the whole thing. So you have your two bunk beds there, little booth table seating area here, recliners, got a fireplace, good size TV, and it's just pretty spectacular for what it is, especially offering the sleeping arrangements that it does. So like I said, this is similar to the Cougar 25 RDS. The Cougar 25 RDS just has a booth here from wall to wall. So they basically extend it onto it, giving you this bunk bed setup here. And it's such a cool area. You have steps going up into it. So three steps here. It gives you a good amount of storage space as well. This top bunk has a 300 pound capacity on it. And it is a really large size bunk bed that you get here. This is basically like a full size bed that you have right here. Same with this one. You can see it's two individual, actually it's folded over. So it's essentially two twin size little teddy bear mattresses that they put down here. And then this one is pretty much the same. It's just tapered off a little bit here, but a really good size space for kids and just a really functional area, I think, to give some privacy or some separate seating things like that, just a spot for the kids to hang out where you're not too disconnected from them. They're still here. If you swivel this TV out a little bit, you can still see the TV from on the bunk beds and you do have privacy curtains as well. So if I open this up, if I can get it open there. All right. So you'll have one privacy curtain right there. The other one obviously comes across as well and you can have that privacy curtain for that area also. It's a really cool, I don't know, it's just a, it's a very family friendly floor plan in my opinion, because it just keeps everybody together, but gives you all this seating space in here as well. I mean, you could sit like one, two, three, four people just about on this booth area here, plus two more here, and you have space for this ottoman. This ottoman does have storage inside of it as well. So you have a big open storage compartment area in there. And this is a multi-function area also where, gosh, I can't remember if I've already recorded stuff of this. I think I have, I could probably put up on the screen, but basically multiple different ways where this table comes down. You can make this into another bed. You can take this corner cushion out and replace it with this cushion all the way across here to make this more of a traditional booth setting where you have a little bit more depth into the corner there and really functional space. Plus this is a freestanding table. So if you wanted to move this up out of the way and open up your space here, 
You could have an even more open space and you can put this table outside if you want. You could leave it in storage if you don't want to use it, but you could get some really open space right in this area as well. Or like I said, you can convert it to a bed. So really neat area there. Plus you have storage underneath these booths as well. So this booth and that booth both have storage underneath them. And I just love this setup. Plus you got good windows here. You have a big window here, window out the door, two windows in the kitchen area. So lots of natural light coming into this travel trailer as well. Both recliners are going to have the heat and massage features on them. They are the Allure collection. This is what is in my family's Cougar as well and are very comfortable. Absolutely love that when you pop these up here, get that popped up. It is going to lay pretty much all the way flat. So goes back pretty far there, giving you a really comfortable seating environment as well. Like I said, these seats are very comfortable. I'm really particular on that and wanting comfortable seats in the RV, even though I'm not the one that really spends much time in them since it is my parents' RV that the Cougar they have. So I'm mostly sitting outside or in a booth dinette, but I know the importance of how comfortable seating is for a lot of people. And it would be important for me too, making a purchasing decision on that. Looking at your windows, they're all going to have pull down blackout shades. So every window will have that. Again, you have space for the ottoman here, but this can be moved outside of the RV if you don't want it in here. And then there's this additional back cushion that can be stored under one of the dinette booths as well. If you want that stored somewhere differently, I just set it there after I was done kind of showing the different ways that this table can be put down. Coming to this side, you have a nice fireplace here. This is gonna be an electric heat source for you. So you do not have to run propane to get heat out of the fireplace, which is going to help heat up this area. I usually tell people in temperatures anywhere around probably like 40 to 50 degrees and up, this is going to do a great job of just taking the chill out of the air in this space and making you comfortable. One thing I really like too is this touchscreen in command system is different for 2022. Um, we just started getting ones in with this new screen here. Um, if we went to an older model, this is more like an iPhone screen here. You can see it's like very flat and flush. The old one had like kind of an indention and looked more like a 2010 Android phone screen where this looks more like an iPhone screen. And the responsiveness of it is just much better. Like as soon as I touch the buttons, they respond. And it's just a much more fast acting system and feels much more intuitive. This will link to your phone as well. So everything that this panel does here, your phone will also be able to do like monitoring the temperature inside your RV and things like your slide outs, your awning, your monitoring your um, tank levels, stuff like that. So really like that they made a little upgrade to what that panel is, but it linking to your phone really is the best thing about it. Back behind the TV, you will have some storage space back behind here. Plus it is on a swivel mount, so you can move that around how you see best fit. Good amount of countertop space. Have all your sound controls here with the Furion sound system. And then you have an outlet here that is an inverted outlet if you did want to add that inverter. Just realized I didn't turn that light on there. Then for your cooktop area, it is a Furion stove and oven. It's a three burner cooktop. Still got the bubble wrap in here from the factory. But a Furion three burner cooktop, these lights will turn on and give you some nice blue lighting there. They'll turn red when you turn that specific burner on. And then a good size oven is larger than like your standard RV oven, but not the biggest one that's ever been made. So a good size oven that you get. Breakers and fuses down below here in that area. And then your heat is ran through the cabinetry. So that is that vent here. Then you have another vent there for heat as well. Also want to point out like your, um, in this area, your outlets. So you have one right here next to the booth dinette. You do have outlets and USB ports up over the bunk area there. And you have outlets and USB ports in that corner. Plus each bunk gets its own window too. So that's kind of nice. They both open up to let a breeze in and you have a little vent there as well. So really nice setup in this area that I kind of had to come back to and touch on real quick. Looking a little bit further into everything in the kitchen, this cabinet goes back to that wall there, and then this will open up here. Really good solid feel on your cabinetry. You can see you have the hidden hinges back behind here as well, so you don't see them from the outside. 
Furion microwave, and this does have a um, vent fan. So this fan, when you turn that on, that is going to vent the air outside of the trailer when you're cooking. Four drawers that'll pull out here. These will all be the same size drawers. Um, this, these straps are used to hold this ottoman in place when you're in transportation. See, those are all gonna be the same size there. And then you have your storage underneath the bathroom. Or under, not underneath the bathroom, underneath the sink. I was getting ahead of myself seeing the bathroom in the corner of my eye. And that's just about everything in this area. Let's look at the MSRP real quick. With the additional options on here, looks like we have like the fireplace, the auto leveling system, um, the 200 watt solar package, the second AC, all that stuff. The MSRP on this is 70,246. So basically, if you're interested in this RV, you can text me at the number on the screen there. This is not what we actually sell them for. This is just suggested by the manufacturer. We sell these well below the MSRP. It's probably going to be somewhere in the fifty dollars to $60,000 range. I don't know exactly, but it's my job to get you the best deal on it possible. So contact me at the number on the screen there, and I would love to get you all the purchasing information you need and get you a great deal on making this Cougar yours. Last thing before we move on to the other side, right behind me, um, you have the inverted outlet here as well. And I want to make sure I didn't miss anything else. Dual basin, stainless steel sink. So you have these two different types of sink covers on there. And then nice stainless steel appliance for your faucet as well. And this is like a faux tile backsplash. Um, it's just, you know, adhered on there. It's not an actual tile. Moving to this side, you're going to have a 12 volt refrigerator. So this is going to run off of your battery. And good amount of space in there. Nice thing with the solar system is that is going to help keep your batteries charged so you're always getting power to this and don't have to worry about it draining your batteries because of that solar panel. And then this is gonna be what most people will use as their pantry space right here. So, so far, let me know what you think of this setup out here. Like I said, I absolutely love it. You can kind of see just the from this angle, just the openness of it. I actually might even prefer to take that table out if it were mine personally, but that's just my opinion. I'm feeling just the openness of it and whatnot, but really open design, really, really a fan of it. Before we move back to the bathroom, I wanna talk about one more thing, which is going to be your AC system. First of all, you have a residential air filter in here. So there are no more of those little black foam pads that basically only filter out pet hair. These are going to be a residential air filter that are going to filter out all of your air. So get things like dust particles, dead skin cells, all that kind of stuff. Filter all that out, much cleaner air system for your RV, um, which especially think about being out in nature with all the dust and everything like that. Going to really help with your air quality inside the RV. And then with Keystone, they have these blade AC vents. So these here are a huge improvement on what they have done. And I know that they are working because other manufacturers are starting to copy this. But they came out with this last year. Basically, these push air out in a 360 degree motion as opposed to in one direction. So you get significantly more airflow from that. And that is making RVs cool down up to about 20% quicker than standard eight, um, RV vents. And this is something that has been a really good improvement that I am really excited about because being in Texas, AC and keeping the RV cool is very important. And this is going to give you a really great airflow. Plus, it is dual ducted. So you can see here coming out of your AC, you have ducting going down this side and down this side, so you get double the amount of air vents in here as well. That is going to help cool down the RV quicker also and give you just better air coverage in general. So that is everything with that. Now let's get to the wall-to-wall -wall bathroom. So you have a walk-through bathroom here. With it being wall-to-wall, -wall, you have a ton of space inside of here to walk through. So really nice space. To walk through in here, you get your countertop space with a window and get a little bit more storage than what you would normally have with it being a wall-to-wall -wall bathroom as well. Stainless steel sink. Nice to see that because there are a lot of brands that just put a plastic sink in the bathroom, which nothing really wrong with the plastic sink, but the stainless steel just looks a little bit better. Then you're going to have a porcelain Dometic toilet. So... You see that is a porcelain toilet there. And with this being porcelain toilet, it's an elongated toilet, but if you were to ever break that toilet seat or want a different toilet seat, you can just go straight to Lowe's or Home Depot and replace it with a residential style toilet seat and it will fit on there. 
sliding pocket door for privacy into this area. And then you have your shower. What's really nice how this, it kind of sticks up a little bit here off the bottom for access to the water lines and things beneath it and for your heating vent. But it does sink back down a little bit to give you a little bit more height clearance. And I'm about 6'2 or 6'3 with my shoes on. Stepping inside, plenty of ceiling height, even to right here at the lowest point in the ceiling. My head does not hit it. And standing underneath here, this shower head sits right at about the peak of my forehead. So actually barely have to duck to get fully under it. So that's pretty nice as well. You can see it's stainless steel appliances in here. And then if you did plug the drain on this um, shower, you do get about an eight to maybe 10 inch deep tub there as well that could be used for kids or pets or whatever it may be. Also have designated spot for holding soap and different bathrooms, bathroom items there as well. Two shower hooks up for towels and things like that. And then you have the fan in here as well, up above me. Moving into the bedroom, one thing that is a big deal with Cougar Travel Trailers is they all come with a king size bed. So this is a king size bed that you're looking at. You have your wardrobe storage on both sides, plus you have a door here. Now the biggest reason for this door is because if you have your slide out closed, when this slide out is pushed in, it is going to be blocking your access to the bathroom here. Speaking of slide outs being pushed in, I do want you to notice your refrigerator will not have any obstruction in front of it. So you will be able to get to your refrigerator with the slide closed, but this bathroom door will be blocked. So to get to the bathroom with your slide closed, you just come through this door and you have direct access into your bathroom. But really nice space in here. The windshield gives it a nice touch as well. And that will come with a blacked out privacy shade on there as well. Be able to flip this bed up and underneath here you have your storage compartment it is strut assisted as well to hold that up and it's a nice memory foam mattress it's i believe a certain mattress so a little bit of an upgraded mattress still may want to put additional um, foam on top of it or maybe swap it out with something to fit your comfort needs but it's not a bad mattress that it comes with tv hookups here in the corner so you can mount a tv onto this wall window here window with the door and the windshield give plenty of natural light. Your second AC is sitting over this area. This one is also has the residential air filter on it. And this system is incredibly quiet. These Coleman Mach ACs are 12 decibels quieter than what people are used to with standard RV ACs. And then these vents here, because of how open they are, are also much quieter than the standard directional vents that didn't have as large of openings. Really long side here for putting things on your bedside. And then I love with Cougar, they give you this multiple tier nightstand setup so you can store more things there you have usb ports and an outlet here and you're going to have usb ports and an outlet on that corner as well this will open up and you have a spot to hang your clothes open this up and that is going to be pretty deep storage there so the ac actually just kicked on and this is full blast this is on high so this is as loud as the ac gets you literally might not even be able to hear it on the microphone, but I mean, you literally hardly hear it at all. You can hear it a little bit, but it's not that noticeable. So again, storage on this side and then a little cubby area back behind here. And sliding pocket door to the bedroom for privacy in the bedroom. And that is pretty much it. Let's walk back out here. Just give this one last look. I mean, absolutely amazing layout in my opinion i just think this would have been a perfect rv for what my family would have wanted maybe five ten years ago when i was younger and went camping with my family regularly this would have been a perfect type of setup that wasn't too big to tow with a half ton truck all right y'all that's all i got for you hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did hit the like button down below and definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and become a part of this growing community of rvers all around the world if you are interested in this rv you can text me at the number on the screen i am in a sales position so i would love to personally assist you in helping you make this rv yours so you can text me there for further purchasing information or setting up a time to come see this in person that's all i got for y'all until next time i'll see you out camping